is a, uh, it's a terminal where we got shortage people here and we still don't have enough folks. We got a lot of trainees here. We got transfers from Florida. We got 21 trainees had what, 60 are on their way? We got 60 in the pipeline to come in here to start relieving some of these folks. That's the only thing that I can say the biggest smiles when we said there's 60 people coming and, and when the guys step back and look at you and say, really? 60 in the pipeline coming in over the next wow. few months. So your seniority is really going to pick up quick, and, and they need to hear that. Yeah. Well, this is back to where we've been for quite some time, which is all about increasing the manpower so we can give our guys some rest, but also increase our capacity so we can serve the customers better. It works, it's good for everybody. So those guys, they're also not only working a lot of hours, but they're 17 years, 19 years, and they're training a lot of people. Oh, okay. Well, with 17 and 19 years, you guys have got a lot to share with them. Uh, which is great for the company, but it's also additional kind of, you know, additional things to think about while you're working and you're concentrating on those trains and everything else. So they're doing a great job for us. We appreciate them. Asking the guys what we can do to help them out. We did some, uh, we did some rock work here over the past year and it sounds like some of that ballast is difficult to walk on. Thinking of where just asking what so we can do to help. Yeah, is it still a mess? Yeah. Reach out to our engineering folks here tonight and uh, see what they can do over the next week or so to give it, uh, give it a, a, at least a little bit of a brush and, and maybe put some better walking ballast on the ground. We met some great people today. We certainly did. All with great attitudes, helping train people, transferring in to help and challenging us to get them more empty so they can do more work. Uh, you gotta like that. I do love that.